Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Yesterday I did a video on whisper file which lets you convert any audio file to text or in other words you can use this tool to transcribe audio files into text very easily locally privately and for free. I created this video which you can see on your screen for the Linux and I went into great detail of architecture and how it works and everything. One of the requests which came through was to get it installed on Windows. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get this whisper file installed on Windows. Also, you don't need any GPU for this. If you have a good CPU, any modern one on any Windows flavor, you should be able to use it. The only thing which I would recommend is to have good RAM. So make sure that you have 16 GB to 32 GB RAM available on your local system just to give you a brief idea as what exactly this whisper file is this whisper file is based on a llama file now this llama file is a tool that enables you to distribute and run large language models with a single file the objective of this llama file is to make these open source llms much more accessible to everyone including developers and users or whoever wants to use them in order to have a quick demo or puc so what they have done is that they have combined llama.cpp with the libc library into one framework that co collapses all the complexity of llms down to a single file executable which is called as llama file that runs locally on most computers with no installation and that is the beauty of this whisper file is because this whisper file is again a single file executable a tool same as llama file that enables you to convert speech from audio files into plain text using the whisper file software and openai's whisper model which is also free and that is really good of openai to give us that uh, whisper model because to be fair if you look around all of these speech to text models they all are using whisper ai model more or less so it's a very very high quality model and it also comes in various flavors depending upon your use case now whisper file as i said is a high performance implementation of open ai's whisper model and this has been created by mozilla as part of llama file project and it is based on whisper.cpp software written by georgie jarchanov the model is also packaged into executable weights which uh, they have called whisper files and that makes it really easy to use it on any operating system and not only on linux and windows but you can also use it on freebsd openbsd netbsd and the great thing is that it is compatible with not only x86 64 architecture but also with arm architecture okay so that is a quick short intro of whisper file now you know what that is let's try to get it installed locally on our windows system okay first up uh, maybe let's create a, a folder uh, with any name on your local system just as i have created a folder whisper on my local desktop so that is done it is empty at the moment go to your browser and then give this url and I will also drop the link to it in video description and then just press enter and you will see that it has started downloading a llama file just from that URL. So let's wait for it to get downloaded. I think it is just putting it in my downloads folder. I will move it to my whisper folder once it is done. And the size is very, very small as you can see just over 300 megabyte. Almost there and that is done. So just click on this folder icon grab it from here i'm just going to cut it and then maybe i'll just go to my desktop whisper folder and then paste it here so that is the first thing which we need to download which is uh, of course uh, llama file itself and that is the whole executable you need by the way nothing else next up let's download maybe um, an audio sample audio file which you need to which i will be using so maybe I'll just go here, I'll say mp3 
okay so, sorry not this i just pasted the wget command which we don't need i'm just going to paste the url here again let me actually download it properly and you can just simply click here and download and it has downloaded it again because i have set my default to download the new system and then i'm just moving it to my uh, whisper folder okay so we have now our software which is a whisper llama file or whisper file and we have our audio file which we need to use here now let's open a command prompt which may make it easy and then let's go to desktop and then let's go to that is whisper directory from here let's see just do this uh, so i'm just accessing the executable file which is a llama file and then dash f and we want to give the file to our mp3 file and then sorry not this i'm just going to give it two of the uh, flags which is pc now this pc flag this stands for plain text output with timestamps and confidence scores when you use dash pc Whisper is going to output the transcription in plain text format, which will include timestamps for each utterance, speaker turn, and also the confidence scores for each utterance. And so primarily it is enabling plain text output with timestamps and confidence scores. And this enables us to get a more detailed output from the Whisper model, which we can use for further analysis. Okay, so let me now run it. So as soon as I have pressed enter here, there you go how good is that it has started downloading it and then it has started uh, transcribing the whole video with the timestamps and the confidence score amazing amazing stuff and look at the speed of it it is um, also telling you the timestamps here and if you read through this you will see that it is spot on transcription of the text there you go and then it has given you some of the statistics around it that how much time it took for every phase for encoding decoding and fallbacks and fallback is when it is unable to um, transcribe it and it could fall back to some other options and this is a load time so how good is that now in my other video which i showed you i already have shown how to transcribe it uh, videos in spanish and various other languages so if you're interested to see more you can uh, you're more than welcome to do that but you see that how easy it is to do the transcription with it with just single file with single command with this flag and it is going to transcribe it locally very quickly freely privately offline for you so now you don't have to pay for any transcription you can just use this one easily and now you can do it on windows too I hope that uh, many people are happy now if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching